Hey fellow explorers, today I am on the Disney Magic and in this video I'm going to show you around. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. This is Disney's first and original cruise ship. Right now we are at sea on our way to Ensenada. This is the ninth deck, The you could call it the top. There's one more that's 10 that's just a little bit more up for a few special rooms that we'll check out. But right here, this is the top forward part. To my right is the wide world of sports deck where they've got a basketball court. And then just inside this little glassed in area, they've got foosball tables, they've got ping pong tables. Uh, really neat, you can play these games while you're watching to go into your port. And uh, so in this video, I'm gonna take you through the different public decks starting our way here at the top and then working our way down to the bottom. I'm um, doing this early in the morning. It's about 6.45 in the morning. In case you're wondering where everybody is, they're probably sleeping, waiting to get up for breakfast. All right, so in here, uh, actually if you go one more level up is deck, uh, well, we've, we're on 10 and then just below is nine. So 10 is this little veranda that we walk on here. And then in this way, uh, there's a couple different areas. They have the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique in here where you can, uh, if you got like little kiddos, they can dress up as their favorite uh, princes or princesses. Uh, or if it's a pirate theme day, then they can dress up as pirates. That is in this door right here is where they find the uh, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And if you want your kids to do this, then you need to make sure they make an appointment open from uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. This area is the adults section. So this is the quiet pool. There is a bar down there, Signals, the quiet bar. And then just below that is the Cove Cafe where you can get um, espresso type drinks. Do cost a little more, that's not part of the all-inclusive part. This is one of two water slides up here. Uh, these open at 9 a.m. today, so nobody's on them yet. Uh, I've yet to do this one, but I did the other one, which was a lot of fun. This one's called the Aqua Dunk. Uh, and on a warm day, yes, there can be long waits. This one takes you from up there, brings you down around, and brings you down here. All right, then if we come in here, uh, we have the entrance to the concierge lounge. So this is for guests that have booked the concierge level rooms. They can come and eat, have snacks and drinks in this special lounge right here that overlooks the quiet pool. All right, taking our way back outside onto the sunny side now. Uh, over here on the right, this is the hotel's main swimming pool. Hotel's main swimming pool. It's a floating hotel and it's early in the morning. Uh, Chris, where is the pool? Well, when it's open, it's a pool. When it's not open, it's a stage because this is where they do the uh, big parties on the ship. And so they've got a big screen right up here that they show movies or they telecast the parties. So when you sail away, this is where you see uh, Mickey and the gang helping you sail away. And as we go over here, there are a couple hot tubs, which uh, are pretty nice to chillax and relax in. They call this one Goofy's Pool. And uh, when it does get a little later in the day, they're gonna put out more chairs and things like that that people can relax. They figure nobody's out here relaxing when it's kind of cold. Oh, how did that view look like? Yeah, so these are the hills of Ensenada. We'll be checking out that port cruise in a little bit. If you want to see my video all about the day in Ensenada on the Disney cruise, you can check that out later or once it's out. I'll put a link to that in the description. And then over here, we've got the other uh, swimming pool. This is the kitty swimming pool. So this is for little kids. Uh, our three-year-old daughter really enjoyed going in here. This is the splash deck, and then they call it the nephew splash zone for the really little kids over here, the ones that aren't toilet trained yet. And uh, then this water slide, um, the twist and splash, you go up this staircase to go up there, and then it brings you down there. That one is pretty fun, not, not too scary. 
And then heading forward over this way, we get, um, I should say heading forward. We're heading back now, heading to the aft of the ship. Uh, this is the entrance to Palo. Palo is the high-end dining restaurant on board. Uh, Italian fare, romantic dining. It's in this little area. If you want to dine in Palo, uh, then you need to pay an extra fee. That is not included in uh, the all-inclusive fare. That's what I found. All-inclusive doesn't really mean it actually includes everything on a Disney cruise, as it turns out. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, as we come down this way, this is now bringing us to deck nine. And this brings us into the uh, back side of the breakfast buffet. So they're just setting up for breakfast and it's in here in Cabanas. They open in nine minutes. So they've got their little doors closed off until they open. All right, we're gonna go back up to 10 and then we'll go back down to nine to take a look at the drink deck. Um, they have one place where you can get drinks 24 hours a day. You can get coffee, you can get tea, uh, and um, you can also get those by room service. Here we're looking out at the coast of Ensenada, so we'd find like Rosarito coming down this way. This looks to be uh, downtown of Ensenada, right, right there. Oh, the nice uh, smoke rising from the smokestacks this early in the morning. Okay, we're gonna go back to this staircase to work our way down here. So most of the quick serve restaurants are around this main smokestack. They've got the duck in diner down here, which serves burgers and gyros. And then on the back side of it, uh, they serve pizza. So if you're looking for food uh, and you don't want to go to one of the restaurants and you also don't want to go to the buffet because maybe it's not open at that particular time then you can get food at these quick serve places uh, throughout most of your time on the ship all right this is the drink station so they have uh, small cups for sodas no lids on the soda cups they do have lids on the coffee cups or tea cups uh, no straws up here. So what sodas do they have? Diet Coke, Coke, Minute Maid, Sprite, ginger ale, vitamin water, uh, iced tea. And then over here, they have a selection of Twinings, hot teas that you can get half and half, coffee, regular, unleaded, whole milk, and hot chocolate. Okay. Uh, then in here is the entrance to the breakfast buffet. You can see the doors have just opened and we'll go ahead and uh, take a quick look in here at the buffet before we pop our way down. All right, and I can smell the bacon already. They've got oatmeal, they've got bacon, they've got hash browns, They've got uh, omelets. They've got eggs. It says eggs Julia. One's eggs Benedict and one eggs Julia. I think one has seven on it. They've got pancakes. They've got Mickey shaped waffles. They've got large sausage. They've got mushrooms. Over here, we've got a selection of fresh fruit, bananas, lots of seating over on this side. We've got breads over this way, muffins, donuts, croissants, warm maple syrup. There's another drink station back here. This is the outdoor seating area that you saw me at earlier. And uh, then over here is, uh, looks like some smoked salmon, cheeses, smoothies. And then over on this side, we rinse and repeat the same thing. They have yet to open this side of the buffet yet for the morning. All right, I'm gonna bring you down to deck eight as we continue this, but you know what? I am, uh, I'm hungry and this breakfast looks pretty good, so I'm gonna get something to eat, and then after I eat, I'll see you down one deck. And what did I get for breakfast? The Mickey waffles, of course. 
All right, that was a pretty good breakfast. Now down the staircase. There's a couple ways to get down. You can take the stairs or you can take the elevators. I find there are three sets of elevators on the ship. I find that the elevators are pretty slow and so I found myself taking the stairs quite a bit. Now, taking a look at this map of the ship here on the eighth deck, uh, this level is mostly the concierge suites, seven, six, also rooms. Uh, and then as we get down to five is where we get to more stuff. You can see how they've got them numbered out here. Pretty easy to find them on these signs. People definitely go like way overboard decorating on Disney cruises. Like the doors are magnetic so they decorate their doors. Look at this family. I'm going to be quiet because it's early. They've got lights for the Barclays right here. Look at this. No, pixie dusting is a thing where like people sign up to get gifts and receive gifts. Um, and uh, this is their first Disney cruise and they're already quite into it. Okay, let's go ahead and drop down two floors. We're gonna go down to the fifth floor so that we can check out the kids clubs down here. This is the seventh floor going down two more sets of stairs as I try to walk quickly so that you're not too bored with Chris just walking downstairs endlessly. That's not what this whole tour is gonna be. It's not gonna be just stairs, I promise. Uh, and uh, one of the things about the Disney cruise ships are hidden Mickeys. You'll find kind of like Mickeys all about everywhere. So if I see some, I'll point some out, but you may see some too, like maybe even on this door. Is that a Mickey? Are there ears on that thing? I don't know, maybe I put ears where there aren't. Okay, so uh, there are some guest rooms back this way on the fifth deck. Uh, but as we go over this way, this is the Buena Vista Theater. They play movies in here. What do they got today? They've got Elemental, Encanto, Indiana Jones, and then Elemental over again. Uh, I think it seats about a thousand folks in that movie theater, so quite a nice movie theater. Uh, and this is what it looks like from when I was in it on opening day of the cruise, since it's not open quite yet this morning. Okay, continuing from the exit to the Buena Vista Theater, right here we have the It's a Small World Nursery. This is where you can check in kids from six months to three years. Uh, four years is too old, so that's how old they can be in the three-year category. Um, make, you make me do my math in public, but less than 48 months old. Uh, this does cost money to go in here, so you need to reserve it ahead of time. On this ship, they can only take 10 kids inside. Uh, we went to take a look at it in the open house part of the ship tour, and we checked our uh, daughter in here uh, on one of our port days. Food in here, they serve crackers, bananas, and yogurt, and so if you, um, if you want them to have lunch uh, or dinner, then you have to check them out and go get them lunch or dinner, but a pretty fun space. And I guess they've even got cribs for the infants to sleep. Okay, back out from the small world nursery. Oh, as we look out the portholes right here, these are the lifeboats that you see out here. We'll see those a little more on deck four, which is where they have you do the emergency uh, safety drills to start your cruise. This is one of uh, two other kids clubs on this floor, the Oceaneer Club. We also went in here during the opening tour. This one has like a slide in it. There's like a Marvel themed room. I mean, it is an amazingly awesomely themed kids club. This one is open from kids from three years of age up to 12, 12 years of age. They do have to be fully potty trained to go in the Oceaneers Club. There is no food in the Oceaneers Club, only a drinking fountain for drinking water, and there are toilets in here as well. Um, so this one is connected to the Oceaneer Lab, which is just on the other side of the atrium. But let's go ahead and take a look at the atrium first. So this is where, when you come on the ship, you come in through these doors right here into this grand three-story entrance. We're here, uh, November 12th, we're doing this cruise. And so it is already set up for Christmas. When they do character meet and greets, they'll often be in these corners taking pictures. So we met Minnie and Goofy down there. Mickey often waves to guests coming in right here. Lumiere's restaurant down the third floor. We'll see in just a moment. Okay, and then this is the other part of that kids club. 
This is the Oceaneer's lab. Um, not yet open this early in the morning, but the um, club and the lab that you see, they connect with like an exterior hallway. So you might drop your kids off in one and then they might uh, walk and find their way to the other. All right, here on the fourth floor, if we turn this way from the central atrium, this is gonna take us past some of the stores on board. This is Mickey's main sale on the left. And you know, your traditional uh, Disney merch, though they've got lots of Disney Cruise Line themed stuff in here, you wouldn't be able to get the park. Odd hours, uh, they're basically open when they're not in port in the evening. So this was our departure day. This is our day in Ensenada. You'll notice they're like not open around lunchtime. And then white caps over here. Uh, this is more the high-end store where they've got some uh, jewelry or more like high-end Tommy Bahama type shirts. This is the big theater in this place. This is the Walt Disney Theater. This is the like thousand room theater where they do the live stage shows. Uh, we saw Tangled here last night. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Preludes, what's that? That's where you can get like drinks and snacks before the show. Uh, and that brings you into the actual theater. All right, I wanna come out here to the fourth deck. So this is where uh, you can run. <laughs> they call this the running deck, uh, but this is also um, where they do the safety drill when you start. So everybody, when you get on the cruise, the first thing you have to do, well, not first thing, first thing is maybe you check out the kids' clubs, go to the pool and have lunch. But then uh, before like big activities start the ship and they do the sail a wave party, they have you come out here to your assembly station. Every room gets assigned a different assembly station. And then you hang out here for about 15 minutes where they tell you how to put the life jackets on and things like that. All right. Um, and if you run a lap around it three times, uh, it's one mile. Okay, and they've got chairs and shuffleboards. So if you want a quiet place to get away from the crowds, this might be a good place to do it. Let's just take a look at going into Ensenada in these bright sun. Uh, oh, and it's also kind of neat to check out the ends of the ship on the different ends of this. I won't do it because it's a long walk to get up there, but you can see like the ropes or tethers that they use to, oh, I can't go in that door. Here, let's, let's try this door. Okay, that door had a, had a blue thing over it. I don't know why. Oh, to open some of these doors from the inside, they have this like little hand wavy thing. Then you wave your hand like that, and then it like opens the door automatically. That's cool. Okay. So back here in the atrium, we have a couple neat chairs to sit at. Uh, these are the central elevators, which are generally the coolest ones um, because these are like glass and they go through the atrium. So I like to take those the best. These are also the biggest. The other ones are a bit smaller. They've got a thing here to show uh, in 1998 when this ship was christened in Port Canaveral. The D Lounge is a venue uh, where they've got uh, parents and kids singing karaoke comfortably together. Uh, we can actually pop in and maybe take a look at it right now. Is it open? Can we pop our head in there? Yeah, so this is like a cool family friendly lounge. They've got some other ones for nighttime activity we'll check out, but this one the whole family can enjoy. All right, and um, over this way, we've got shutters, the gallery and animators palette, which is one of the main restaurants. There are three main restaurants on board this ship. Uh, and it, like when you spend time on the cruise, you get assigned a different restaurant like each night to eat at. Uh, in our case, because it was a two night cruise, we were assigned two restaurants for two dinners and then the third restaurant for breakfast on our um, departure day. Shutters is where you can come and see the pictures that the Disney crew has taken of you while you've been here. You use your room key card right here, and you tap it right there, and then it brings up your pictures. It's too early in the morning though, so you can't see them. I'm sorry, I would have shown them to you. Uh, over here we have the fine jewelry and expensive watches section. 
And uh, I guess uh, they had some contest here where you could win a carrot or something like that. Here we've got some diamonds and wishes. Maybe you wish to propose on your cruise but didn't bring a ring. You can get that up here. Same thing, these are open uh, similar hours to the shops before that we looked at. And this is uh, one of three restaurants. This is Animator's Palette. The inside of this one is all animation themed, so that's a pretty cool restaurant. Okay, uh, now these are the aft lifts. These aren't cool and glassy like the other one. That takes you back out to the running deck on the fourth floor. So let's head down the stairs to the third floor. Oh, I like all the art that's all in the stairways. The whole ship is all very clean and sparkly, even though this is the one of the, the earliest Disney cruise ship, they've done a pretty good remodel. And so everything is nice and spiffy. I like the big windows for the portholes in the guest rooms. Uh, they look this big too. Oh, by the way, if you wanna see what one of the guest rooms look like, we booked a deluxe ocean view room. Uh, and so you can see that. Uh, in the description below too when that review video of the room is done. Rapunzel's Royal Table is right here. That's the second restaurant. And then this is one of the, uh, I'm gonna call it like evening spots here, but this is like a, like a piano lounge or something like that. Uh, live jazz here on this little stage. There's a bar, really kind of like moody vibe, feels like uh, it should be someplace in New York. This is the Soul Cat Lounge. I feel very soulful as I walk through here. You know, walking through this cruise ship this early in the morning feels a bit like uh, walking through a, a Las Vegas casino this early in the morning too. You're like, I know this place is hustling and bustling sometime, but <laughs> not right now. All right, this is the uh, third and final main restaurant, Lumiere's. This one we can see in because it's got a glass window. Uh, this one is a French themed restaurant. Uh, and we had dinner in here our first night. The best thing in there for dinner is the dessert, the souffle, uh, but they've also got a menu for breakfast that has things like pancakes and waffles and, um, you know, pretty similar stuff to what you saw at the buffet. Now this is the kind of Christmas setup that they've got on this main entrance as you come in the cruise ship in what I'm gonna go ahead and call the lobby now. So since this is the lobby, this is where they have guest services or the front desk. You don't really need to see them unless you have a problem. We need to get a Band-Aid. So we were able to go over there and get a Band-Aid. Uh, as we turn over this way here, you see Mickey sailing the ship right there in the Disney Magic. I mean, this is like a pretty cool spot um, in the center of the ship. I mean, I like just how tall and grand it is. It's got uh, chandeliers that are up at the top. Uh, neat spot. Okay, and uh, port adventures. So if you're going out uh, on a port adventure and you're doing some of the excursions, you can book those or ask questions here. Well, you can like book them online, but if you didn't book something and you do some last minute, you can book them there at Port Adventures. Okay, and then heading back this way, we've got After Hours. So this is a uh, evening section of spots. After hours at nighttime, we've got Fathom Keys and O Gills Pub. These are some really cool um, windows right here that have like seats along the whole thing. Fathoms, let's take a look in here. This opens at 7.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. This is uh, really feels like a Miami nightclub, like something out of uh, Scarface, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. Super neat. Uh, last night they were having like a silent disco or something like that in there. Really neat um, purple velvet curtains as we go through. Keys is the piano bar. We've got someone like myself who's just out here exploring like, hey, what is all this stuff on board this ship? Uh, keys. Let's see if we can open keys. Is keys open? Keys is open, we can go in here. And uh, this is the piano bar 
uh, the other piano bar other than the soul one. There's a piano there in the back. This one also kind of has like a moody New York vibe. Pianos up on the top. And this is another 18 and up venue. The elevators here kind of remind me of something like inside the Empire State Building, perhaps. And there's another shop over here, Sea Treasures. Uh, this one only opened during like the after hours time. Uh, this one has dresses for princesses. And then we've got O'Gill's Pub. This uh, does open at noon, so this opens earlier if you want to hang out in the pub instead of going into port. But it's a cool uh, like Irish themed bar down here. Uh, what I think is neat is they've got uh, these like chess and backgammon tables uh, on these kind of like large large pub tables back here and it looks like can't see it right yet uh, but it looks like they have like some kind of a buffet setup that goes on in here oh i did forget to show you when we were on the pool deck uh it turns out there is a uh, place that has ice cream uh, most of the day self-serve ice cream up there too Okay, we'll go down to the second deck. Dun, 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 dun. Different music down here. It's uh, like Ensenada. I feel like the music has changed to Mexican music. All right, so uh, as we look at this map, then what else is left to see? Uh, the second deck is also just rooms like we saw before. And then the first deck. Oh, there's laundry on the second floor. Uh, Self-serve laundry. I think there's some on the seventh floor too. It's like $3 a wash. You can buy soap as well. Uh, you can also bring alcohol on board Disney Cruises, um, but uh, two bottles of wine or six beers. And uh, this is where you would find the health center, but I'm pretty healthy. And so with that, that brings us to the end of this particular tour. Well, fellow explorers, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope this gives you a good appreciation of the Disney magic, a nice renovated ship. Uh, so if you're considering a Disney cruise and you're considering this ship, you know what? I think this is a pretty nice one. It's not gonna be as amazing as the newest ships, but they've done great to refurbish it, maintain it. Uh, and we have enjoyed our cruise on here ourselves. So if you wanna see more of our Disney cruise, you can check out videos up here as soon as they're out. I'll also put links to those in the description below. If they're not out yet, I'll put some other videos up there. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.